this is just a quick mock up to someone in the discord i were having a discussion with on how to get a point of interest to work so you've got your rules set they're set to a point of interest i am going to find two spots on the map auto unlock auto launch the quest type is counter and we're going to set the counter type to death so i need to kill two assets that have the tag rum on them in order for my quest to complete I've got two bottles of rum. Each bottle has the tag rum. And each one also has a health component. And this health component has the instant death message here.2. So whenever that message gets spoken, it will die. And because its tag is rum, it will add one to my collection, my death collection, which is what I'm using for my points of interest. Uh, here.2 gets spoken when the character avatar walks within the range, this detection range of the speaker component, and when it enters that range, the message that gets spoken is here.2. The same thing is happening over here. When you walk within the range of this uh, asset, the message that gets spoken is here, and that's the avatar walking within range of the radius of this speaker component, and that message here gets spoken out to this rum bottle that has an asset uh, that has a health component with an instant death message here so when you tab into the game just wait for the quest to start walk into the area the bottle the rum dies you get the first spot you walk up to the goat which is our second item of interest and there so the other way that you can do it is in the rules you could also have it based on uh, collected objects we could use the same rum bottles and collect two of them. And in that case, you could just have, you could set it up something like this, where you don't need the health component anymore. You just need a collectible component. The tag rum already exists on the assets. So this should just work straight away. And the only thing you might want to do for, you know, a quest type like that is maybe instead of a speaker component, to detect the avatar, maybe you've got, um, where is it, the rarity effects that draws your attention to this, this is the place you need to be. Make sure that the asset that has the rarity effects on it has no collisions, so it's not a collider. So now if I jump back in, there's my two items of interest, or my points of interest. Find two spots on the map, so we walk up to the first one. And we walk up to the second one. And, you know, you could go on and on and on. There's a lot of different ways to go about this. But uh, those are two uh, simple ways to get you started. I uh, hope this helps.